fracture or a tumor or a you know, bone infection. Okay, so I do that to make sure I'm not going to hurt somebody when I go to treat them. Um, Thank you. The other reason <laughs> is that as a doctor, it's my obligation to find the true problem in that patient. Okay, um, the pain is not the problem. Pain is, is a is a um, symptom, right? And that's not the actual problem. So it's my job and obligation to find the actual problem. So that's another reason I take X-rays. Okay. So in my office, there's a lot of different X-ray views that I look at. Today, we're, to keep it simple for you guys, this is the, the only view we're going to look at. This is a side view of a person's neck. So it's, if I were standing this way, taking the x-ray this way, that's what we're looking at here. Hope you guys can all see that. Um, so a couple things to point out. This is what a normal would look like. So we're going to see some abnormal. So you want to see what normal looks like for comparison, OK? So um, just want to point out a few things. It's not working. Um, so, yeah, it is. It oh, OK, I couldn't see it. Um, so this is the, the curve in the spine. That. So the curve in the spine is a normal thing. We want to see that in the side view of a neck, okay? Um, this is the jaw, so this is the front of the spine, this is the back, there's the skull, and there's the shoulder down here. Um, another important thing about a normal uh, side view of a, of a neck is that the disc spaces in between the vertebrae are all the same um, space in between the vertebrae, all the same height, okay? So keep those things in mind as we go through. Um, before we jump into the real actual pictures, I want to show you this as well. This is a chart I use in my office every day. Um, this shows the different phases of spinal degeneration. Okay, So the left picture is a normal like we just saw. It's got good curvature. It's got good disc spaces. Um, phase one is where there's been some kind of either an injury, uh, accident, or just poor posture over time. Puts them in a position where they've lost that curve and their, their neck is straight up and down or the head's forward of the shoulder. Okay. If nothing's done to correct that, it progresses to phase two where we start to see degeneration in the disc and little bone spurs start to form as well. Um, still, if nothing is done, it progresses to phase three, and that's where things actually fuse together, and that's where it's usually not a chiropractic problem anymore, okay? So these are the phases of degeneration. So, all right, so this, these are two pictures of two different patients in my office, and um, I'll point out a couple things, and then I'm gonna ask you a question. So on the left, this look different from the normal we just looked at? Yeah, so the head's forward to the shoulder, you can see the disc spaces, they're all still about the same spacing in between. Can you guys see that? Okay, so the picture on the right, kind of the same position, the head's forward and the shoulder, but look at these disc spaces More down separation. here. Right, pretty bad disc spaces, and bone spurs are forming. Here's the question, which patient do you guys think is older? The left. No, so most people, that, a lot of people come in and I'll show them their pictures and say, oh, that's just old age. I have to explain to them, it's not old age because there's people older than you that have better spines and younger than you that have worse spines, okay? So it's not about age. So here's the same pictures with their age. The left is the person 68 years old. The person on the right is 47 years old. Oh my. Okay? Wow. So this person's taking good care of their spine. This person had not Okay? So the difference is what's happened to you in your past and what you've done to take care of your spine. Okay? All right, so this is a guy that came in to see me last year. His name's Austin. Uh, pretty typical case. Uh, he's an accountant, so he sits at a desk all day, um, doing computer work. He's got developed poor posture over, over time. Uh, so his head's forward of his shoulder. He's got a little bit of curve in there, not, but not as good as it could be. Um, this, this face is still look pretty good. So we got him on a treatment plan. Um, here's his, now this is the left. This is the picture we just saw. That's the, the follow-up picture about a month later. All right, so we got that curvature back in there. Now, why is that a healthier position? Number one, when this is forward, all the muscles here are really stretched and tight, puts a lot of tension on the neck and shoulders, okay? Um, the other important thing is that the brain's inside the skull, off of that comes your spinal cord right down through here, and this is forward, it can put tension on the, on the actual spinal cord, okay? So in this position, there's a lot more room and space for that spinal cord to come down. And like Cassie was talking about, the nerves, the brain sending signals through the nerves out to your body, it has to be able to do that for us to stay healthy. Right, it's a much healthier position to be in on the right. Uh, next picture, um, this is another case of people thinking that it's, it's old age. So this person came in to see me, uh, her name was Karen. Um, she was 67 years old, I think, and had a pretty bad story where she, she lived alone, she fell in her house, hit her head, she was unconscious, she wasn't sure how long. Finally got to call somebody, took her to the hospital. Checked her out at the hospital and they said she was fine. They gave her some pain medication, but she still had a lot of neck and shoulder pain. Um, and so she, uh, her daughter referred her to see me. This is the first picture I took of her. You see, again, head's really far forward in the shoulder, uh, a lot of degeneration in there. And the other interesting thing is that before her fall, she didn't have any pain. So just because she had, she had 
and this, this took a long time to develop, but it didn't really cause any, any pain. Um, but we got her on a good treatment plan, and um, there's her before and after. So the picture on the right is, is again about a month later. Um, and even our disc spaces are even starting to look better. So as we get things in better position, there's less pressure on the disc, and that um, can actually help this disc to, get, to, to become healthier and improve its spacing. All right. Do you guys see anything funny about this picture? Big yeah, yeah, Gina got it. So at the bottom, see this down here? <laughs> so a lot of people come in and they'll say, uh, well, I've had surgery, there's nothing you can do for me. Actually, when you have surgery, there's still a lot of chiropractors can do for you. So I can't fix that, I'm not gonna move that segment, but I can work above it and below it, and still get good results. So there's this follow up picture. And he's only, I think he's 27 years old and already had surgery on his spine. So surgery should be a last resort you should always try everything conservative because you don't know what's going to happen. One more quick story. Um, this young guy is 22 years old. He came in to see me. Uh, he's been a, he's a high school and college student. And so what do students do? They study and they look down like this, right? The kids on their cell phones now, they're always just looking down. So it puts them in, puts them in this, in this uh, poor posture position. So um, this is going to be a series of pictures. So here's when he first came in, heads forward. Um, just about a month later, there he is looking improved. Um, the symptoms at that point is upper neck pain was improved, shoulder pain and numbness was gone, and ringing in the ears was gone. So it's not just pain, there's other symptoms that can be improved as well. The real quick, I know I'm out of time. This was after about 90 days, We're still looking about the same. Um, the point I wanna make with this one is that um, after 90 days or, or roughly around there, I'd like to get people on what we call maintenance care to maintain this, so it doesn't go back to what it was. So if we could have just maintained this, it would have been great, but we came back, that was on October 2nd, back just a few weeks ago in May, and through maintenance care, he's gotten incredible improvement in his, his neck. So sometimes it just takes more time. Um, and that's why, that's another reason why I do treatment plans. So um, it's not just about fixing the pain, it's about correcting the underlying spine to make sure that person is healthier in every aspect of their life. Awesome. Yeah.